Hello, it's Adam. I'm shooting on my new Hero 3, and we'll see how the footage looks. Supposedly this has much better dynamic range, low light sensitivity, resolution, control, etc. Apparently there's an app that I can control the phone with, this GoPro app, and we will be using it, GoPro app right here. It's the end of the year, the Christmas season is winding to a close. I ate way too many cookies, I ate way too many baked goods. The scale told me that this morning when I got on it, but that's okay. Next week starts my official Half Iron Man training plan for St. George, race day May 4th. So we'll see how that goes. My bike's getting torn down to get shipped to St. Louis for its paint job. Hmm. I got this new shirt. Jacket. Iron Man Miami. Here we are with Willie too. At Will's house. Oh yeah. Getting 2013 season started hooking me up on my new trainer so I can have a bunch of computer data since I'm a nerd <laughs> and he loves my GoPro that's why it's called Willy 2 even though it's a Hero 3 <laughs> perceived exertion scale, so I'm going to ask you every three minutes where you're at, where you think you're at, okay. and at a level between one and ten. We're not going super hard, so, okay. yeah. so if you want to just get on it, and we'll just warm up for around um, ten minutes. So what I'm going to ask you is an Look, I'll, I'll write down your, your power, so what you're going to tell me every three minutes is your heart rate. Okay. And then your perceived exertion rate, so where you think you're at between a level of one and five. And we're going to stop when we get to five, six. Okay. So when you think you're riding relatively hard, not, you know, you've got to remember, hard's just a five. Right. So rest, really easy, easy, moderate, sort of hard as a four, five and six is hard, and then when you feel like you're getting uncomfortable, that's when you're over hard. So, okay. And that's when we take the, sort of, your level at the moment. So the, uh, the top would be like me pedaling crazy as hard yeah. as I could. Yeah, you're okay. not going to be anywhere near that today. Okay. Later on, you know, down the line, when you we're going to do interval efforts, say for three, four minutes, that's when you'll be going over your peak, but you know you're going to make it because you don't have to ride for an hour. Right. Yeah, this is the insanity, buddy. Yeah. My wife calls it the Goonie aerobics. She says I look like a goon. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah. Shaking. <laughs> Hey, you know, mate. 
Good. Getting up there, about 102. Okay. Hey, just wanted to talk to you a couple minutes about weight loss. I've been getting a lot of questions, a lot of comments, people yo-yoing, people who can't get back down, people who want to return to a, a fighting weight or a training weight or racing weight. Uh, look, my weight fluctuates uh, about up to 10 pounds a year um, from my race peak uh, low to my post winter weight gain. Uh, I go about 10 pounds. I'm about five pounds up now um, since the end of October. And uh, I enjoy Christmas, I enjoy Thanksgiving. <clears throat> I train hard and uh, uh, when the racing season's over I indulge a little bit and uh, so you gotta find what works for you but uh, next week I'm back at it strong cutting back uh, I will have eliminated uh, any baked goods so if it has butter in it a uh, significant amount of butter in it uh, like cookies or pies or anything like that I, I won't be eating it anymore I'll also be watching my calories. Um, one of the things, I, I don't do deep fried foods, it's just calorie density is way too high. Um, and then also I will substitute the snacks that I normally grab like uh, Reese's peanut butter cups or M&M's and start eating fruits and vegetables again. So uh, my big race of the year is in May and I need to lose about 10 or 15 pounds for that race since it's a lot of bike climbing. And uh, so switching over to fruits and vegetables, uh, having that at least five times a day, uh, minimizing breakfast, um, just having a bowl of cereal, high fiber cereal or oatmeal, um, would be really good. And then not snacking late at night when it's easy to come home and just shove a bunch of calories in. Uh, also when you're training hard, uh, stay hydrated because if you're not hydrated it's easy to eat a lot because uh, your stomach feels hungry but really you just need to drink so uh, put some water in some electrolytes if you need it and watch what you're eating decide what you're gonna eliminate and just cut it out don't 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 try to cheat um, some things you need to not eliminate uh, if you want to snack on something every now and then then, then don't eliminate it um, so anyway I hope some of you can reach your goals this year uh, you may need to download an app like Livestrong, uh, Calorie Tracker, um, you know, or Garmin. You can do uh, Garmin Fitness. We'll do uh, tracking. Trainingpeaks.com is a free account you can track on. Uh, there's so many things. You'd be surprised at how little calories your body's actually supposed to take a day. And then if you're not training hard an hour or two hours a day, you know, it really reduces your calories. So. Anyway, hope that helps, and uh, we'll be seeing you in 2013. Peace out.